Really? Mm -hmm. I'm just from a match in my drink. Do you know that you're an issue? Okay. Hey. Tell your friends it was nice to meet them. I hope I never see them again. Yeah. No, it breaks your heart. 
I'm famous. The talk of the town. They say I'm coming. I'm coming. They know what I know. Circles different. Someone's talking.
The way the pine look the low of the woods is up in the things you know it's more than the rocks enough to show you that that's more you are. When you wear your pine wood, you're rowing a world like nothing that you've ever known the sky is letting you up the stone, you're free to do whatever pleases you. Exploring things you never die, cause you don't care when something does a big or terrible giant at the door. A big or terrible lady. My name is Michelangelo Maharlika, and I'm going to present all the nations of the world. Here I go! You want me to boot them? Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> what was that all about, a bomber? Yes. Hey, 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 Steve. hey Curtis. Hey, hey Steve. Hey, a rabbit. And...
Bye, everyone. Yeah. Well, I won't be at the meeting tonight, guys, but have a good one. I'll see you in the morning. Bye, Bye. See you later, Mel. Yeah, Bye, Mel. Bye, everyone. Bye, Gary. Seven Bye, Gary. Gary. Here we go. Bye, yeah. what? Oh, we've got some bombers in. Nice. Are they? Evening, all. Houston and that. All right. Okie dokie. They usually play. They usually, they usually play like uh, like recordings and that. Oh, Houston and uh, are they going to play something? Are they? Not very nice. Not... Is it not very nice? Okay. Well. Oh, here you go. Here we go. Bye, Ricardo. I'm just learning how to pray. There we go. Well. Rubbish. That was interesting. That was there we go. They can't. They can't do anything really. They can't unmute themselves or turn their camera on. So <laughs> just, just stay there. <laughs> You're in Zoom prison. You're in Zoom prison now. Yes, you are. You right, Michael. You right, Alan. Met Alan. Right. Hi, guys. I'm just going to give you a thing to unmute because uh, there's a couple of people have the not got the ability to unmute. Hey, what's up, family? It's Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. You're on, Michael. I just, How are you doing? We just drove out to the Indian reservation and I didn't get in an argument with Don. I, I'm proud of myself. Well just done. Cigarettes, cigarettes, yeah. Cool. Hi. And so have I. So have I. So have I. Some music or something like that. God knows what that is. Yeah. I can't open it. I can't open it. I've been sent that before and it's like a fucking weird advert. Probably a Trojan horse. Sound. Invite it in. What's it got inside it? I can't open one of these things. Nice. Okay. Um, I was hoping um, Mark was going to be here this evening because he's been helping me out with giving feedback on shares and he's been...
October. Uh, it'd be good to see anybody that about go to it. Um, it'll be a good weekend. Um, it's good to see faces I haven't seen in a while. I'll not name the names, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, I'm grateful to be clean. You know, narcotics Anonymous has saved my life and give me a new way to live. Showed me a new way to live. And I keep learning on a daily basis, you know, and I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for sharing, Jacob, that you're here. You're getting lots of heart, all your love. That's so cute. All right, so next up, we have beautiful human Jamie. Thank you for your service, Jamie. shit um and he never um wanted children either and now that i'm like i have a little bit of clean time um i've i always thought i was going to be a young mother whether it be oh let me turn my camera on whether it be by mistake or on purpose i just i always thought i'm gonna be a mom by 25 and like in between the ages of like 19 and like 20, I was dating somebody with a kid that called me mom. I was a really great mom. I was, oh God, I had so much fun with that kid. He was so a great kid. So smart, well-behaved. He was just like a little man. He just knew what to do. Came out of the womb, just like wise. He was such a good kid anyway. So I'm getting that like motherly instinct again. I'm like Matt. Either, like, we need to start the, the doing the kids thing, or, but I'm not willing to be pregnant, um, so so we need a surrogate. But we're also trying to bring a third into the relationship now. So 
So it's like this, it's a lot to think about. And then this is where it ties into my recovery because Matt's pothead, right? And it's like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to bring somebody else into that environment because um, an adult or a child, because if I'm going to start dating, um, I would prefer to date somebody who's clean. I don't can't see myself like dating, going to date an addict or like looking for an addict to date. Just, I don't think that would happen. I wouldn't choose that person if I knew that they smoked weed or drank alcohol or went to the bars. I'd be like, no, we can't be nothing more than long distance friends. You know, I just can't hang out with people who do stuff like that. Um, and Matt does. So, you know, it's a lot to think about, but, and I was freaking out about this when I watched Queer Love Ultimatum a couple of months ago. Oh, that shit tore my heart out, that show. Oh my God. Because I know what I am and that everybody knows it and Matt knows it, but it's just like, just like being an addict. It's like, okay, I'm here now. So now what am I going to do about it? Just take it kind of day by 